Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be looking at how to make really simple and very fast grass in Blender 4.3. Now there are a lot of cool external assets out there, asset packs, add-ons that can make some really nice grass, but this is going to be just using Blender. Um, so just the default particles in Blender. I'm going to take you step by step how to make this grass really quickly. It's super beginner friendly tutorial for you here today. And um, if this is handy to you and you like making this, um, definitely like, subscribe, check out some other content. But uh, yeah, let's jump in and make this uh, simple little grass scene here in Blender 4.3. In the description below, I'm going to be adding a link to this free image you can download of some grass. It's on Pixabay. It's completely free. So what you're going to do is just go to the download and you can download whatever resolution you want. I want to go for low resolution as it doesn't really matter um, for what we're doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and download that. And it's now downloaded to my downloads folder. So inside of Blender, what I'm going to do is select all the default objects and press delete. Now, with all of that deleted, I would usually go ahead and just import an image as a plane, but for whatever reason, that add-on, I can't find it in Blender 4.3. So we're just going to go ahead and go Shift A this time, and we're just going to go to our mesh options, just add in a plane. And um, let's just kind of roughly go S and X, and just scale it about the dimensions of our image that we downloaded, it, roughly. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then let's go over to our um, Materials tab. Click on New. Let's just call this Grass. And let's come here to the Base Color. Click on this tab and let's change it to Image Texture. Then click on Open and then simply go to your Downloads or wherever you save that image to. I'm going to click on it here and go Open Image. And now if I go Z and I go Material Preview, I should be able to see here it is. Okay, really simple. So I'm going to press Z and go back to Solid. So now let's go over to our render engine. We're going to change it to Cycles. If you have a GPU, I recommend you use it. If you just have a CPU, you can stick to that. And then you can go down here to your Max Samples, and I would go for something like 55 in this case. Should be fine with the noising enabled. Then go over to your Particles, click Plus, change it to Hair. And in this case, we'll go with maybe 2000, like so. We're gonna, whoops, I put in 200, I meant 2000, there we go. And we're gonna bring this hair length way down. Okay, now obviously this depends on how long you want your grass to be, but I'm gonna go something like this. And then we're gonna go down to our children and make it interpolated. And now these grass things, they look way too straight. So the trick here is under your children to come down to your roughness and then give it a little bit on the end point value here. And then give it a little bit of shape and then a little bit of random. That's really where it's gonna start looking better, like so. So now, if we go Shift A, we go to our light options, add in an area light. We can go G, Z, and move it up, like so. There we go. And let's go over to our object data properties for the light. Let's make it 300. And also, this is optional, so you don't have to do this, but if you have a HDRI somewhere, you can go to your world settings and go to the tab here. So I already have some that I have downloaded on my computer. So it's just a high dynamic range image. Um, but like I said, this is optional, but I'm just gonna go ahead to my library and add one in. So I'll just go with one that I like. I'll open that in. So now if I go Z and I go rendered, I'm just gonna go over, in this case, to my render settings. I'm just gonna come down to film and just make the background transparent, which is what I prefer here in this case. And now you can see here, I have some nice looking grass. You can grab your light and rotate it off to the side to get different kind of lighting effects. Now, obviously here if the HDRI, it's giving it kind of a nice look. Um, but yeah, that's how simple it is. So at this point, you could take your ground plane, tab into edit mode, you can add in some segments or you can just simply select everything, right click and subdivide and then increase the number of subdivisions to whatever you want. And then if you wanted to, you can tab back out. And here's where it looks really cool. If you go over to your modifiers, add modifier and you go search and type in displace and then just drag this displace on top of your particles and then click here new and then go over to your texture properties and then just come over here to the type and change it to clouds. And then you can simply go back to your modifiers. And then with the strength here, you can just drag it down. And now you've added a little bit of roughness to your ground, just like that. So let's add in the camera. So I'm gonna go Shift A, I'm gonna add in the camera. 
Now let's move it over to the side, like so. There we go. Here we get a nice shot like so. I'm gonna grab this plane, enable proportional editing in an edit mode. I might just raise this up a little bit, kind of drag this down. I don't know, just be creative. Make kind of like a little bit of a mount like this. And now if I go Z and go rendered, I've got a nice little bit of grass over here. So um, for me, I might just, um, yeah, go into solid view. I might save this on my computer and let's go ahead and go render and then render the image. And here you can see is the final result. I might actually just close this and this is only because I'm fussy. I'm just gonna add in an object like a Suzanne monkey head and I'm just gonna scale that down, move it up. I just think that adds a little bit of visual interest. Um, obviously you don't have to do that, but I'm gonna go ahead, maybe duplicate another one, scale it a bit, see what I can do. Something like that. And then I'll give that a render and see if that looks a bit more interesting. And there we have it. Now having these monkey heads in here just adds a bit of visual interest and you can kind of really see the grass out against it. I just find this very satisfying. Now that is the simple, um, easy way to make grass in Blender without any plugins or extra, um, you know, kind of like grass packs or anything. Um, obviously there are benefits to using those. I think they have more realism to them, but in a pinch, um, this should do you really well. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If it's been handy, give this video a like, subscribe, and check out some of my other content. I really think you'd enjoy what I have in the channel. I carry, uh, I cover a very wide range of topics, everything from characters to sculpting to motion capture. Um, it's all on my channel. I'll see you guys next time.